Good morning everyone, hello, it's Benjamin for Conscious Spirit Media and today I'm so lucky and I'm really really happy to have my dear friend with me, uh, Shamil Raikal Chada. He's an amazing person, he's from India, born in Singapore and uh, raised in Australia, in Europe. Um, today, you traveling the world today, you are here in Peru, we are here in Peru today and um, this is where we meet, he's an alchemist working around energy and he brings clarity and support to help people with the soul purpose. So this is really amazing and um, I'm really lucky to do this interview with you. Hello Shami Rekko, how are you today? You good? Hi Ben, I'm great. It's good to be here, good to share with you, good to share with you people. Yes. Exciting. Exciting. Cool. So can you please um, introduce a little bit more yourself and just like a explain a bit your background, where you came from, and how you, you jump today in this, in this beautiful path life, uh, helping people and doing all your, your work. It's my pleasure. So, as Ben was saying, my ancestors are from India. I was born in Singapore, raised in Austria, which is quite um, global global citizen and it was quite challenging when I was younger you know like finding finding out who I am mm. you know being identified first as Singaporean then as Austrian when I was like 18 through certain experiences like really wanting to connect with my with my roots with my Indian heritage wanting to go to India and find my guru which didn't happen for many years <laughs> and then I found I found like a spiritual teacher in Austria which initiated me in a bhakti yoga tradition Okay. As well, in Austria, as male citizen, you have to do either military or social service. So I, when I was 18, ended up doing Ooh. a year of social service in the children's intensive care unit in wow. Austria. Wow. So I was confronted with life, death, suffering, the prolonging of suffering, mm. and kind of a system of Western medicine that didn't feel aligned with me. It felt like it doesn't really help the people in a holistic way that could be possible you know from all aspects and so when i was 18 i dedicated my path and my journey to to explore to study this it was very clear for me that that i wanted to approach this path of supporting people on their journeys of healing now maybe more than healing it has become more to support people to like really access their their potential access their divine blueprint because we all have come into this life with with lots of gifts and talents it's and, true. Yeah, yeah. and through family society conditioning like so many of these gifts and talents are held back mm. are withheld mm. and along the journey like for me was important when i was 18 i didn't want to like conform and just do something to, to earn money but I wanted to follow my heart's calling mm. and I feel that's the most important so in my work that I share right now it is not necessarily only on a mental level but more on an energetic level which I will share or we will get into deeper a little bit later mm. to like support people to find the resonance with, with their soul you know mm. we have like resonance and dissonance and when our soul's blueprint you know if you talk mm. about human design what you are mm. into as well what i'm into as well or astrology we all come with a certain set of talents of gifts it's true yeah, yeah. how we absolutely how we how we connect with the environment and if we can rediscover that if we can bring that into a harmonic resonance with ourselves and with our environment then life becomes in harmonic dance with creation. That's so true, that's so true. Wow, really interesting. And uh, I haven't noticed, but he is a projector in the human design and an amazing projector. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, guys, but one moment he say, like, it, you say it was about following your heart, right? So it's really interesting, like all the time, people who are on this kind of a spiritual path or really enlightenment path or happiness path, they all say the same things all the time. It's about following your heart. So can you can you really say, yeah, that's that's like oh. the life changing day or the the point when you start shifting everything and you say I want to follow my heart. Oh, that's 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 a crucial crucial point, a crucial moment. That's like mm. the crucial guidance, you know. And 
I feel or from what I observe, you know, through what I shared before, through conditioning, through our life's experiences, we have been disconnected from our heart. A lot of people, especially in Western society, have been disconnected from, from their hearts because it's more about what we are supposed to do, how we are supposed to make our parents happy, how we are supposed to make society happy. And we don't really listen to what our heart really wants. So can we say the heart is like an emotional intelligence or like a, another another brain or another mind like in, in the body and like something would give you really guidance, something yes. you can trust? For me totally, like like the heart is like really what are, what are you passionate about, what excites you in life, yes. what makes you happy, <laughs> what brings you joy in life. Yes. Yes. And you know like right now the society on this planet is, is structured mainly in a way that that we follow follow things to to survive mm. but I don't think that we are here just to survive we are here to thrive on True. a physical on a mental on an emotional level and yes. especially as human beings on a creative level like for me like my mom was primary school teacher in Singapore which is like a very structured society so that's what she passed on to me as well and my parents moving from from India and Singapore to Western society, the values that they passed on to us children, me and my sister, were very Western-based. So it was more about having a good career, making money, having having the proper clothes. But at some point, I realized that doesn't really satisfy me, you know. And I, I was very fortunate to make this realization when I was 18. I know a lot of people that come now to see me in my consultations, in my sessions that are that are like in their 30s and they have followed their career have like have like confronted burnout have mm. maybe are, are wealthy but are, but are not happy a lot of mm. people with like this pressure they're not like fulfilled themselves, they're not right? fulfilled from inside mm. yeah exactly they you know here is like the life purpose which yeah, would be yeah. like the, the golden yes. thread that leads us through yes. life yes and there's a lot of side tracks yeah so it is good to yeah, get into the center, align, and, yeah. align with the golden, the golden thread that leads us to life, that leads us to abundance, that leads us to creativity, happiness, joy, to being like socially in contact and, and creating like a life for oneself, for one's family, and then slowly mm. expanding into society where people really mm. live from their hearts, live joy, live creativity. Mm. Wow, wow, it's really, wow, amazing what you share with us today. And uh, before, before we start talking about exactly what you're doing now and what you offer now, uh, I, I noticed you say you reached like a point or you were feeling, okay, I was like missing something. Life, it wasn't about, as you say, society makes your parents happy, working, get the money or set business, whatever. And it's really interesting how um, everyone is pretty following exactly the same, the same process, no? Because you know, people work, and sometimes they just realize, oh, that's, life is not about just working and make parents happy, or just following exactly the, the same way than everyone. So it's interesting how you, you had this revelation, if I can say, or inside, like pretty young, at the age of 18, because. Most of the time, you know, just people go to school, get graduates, they, they have the job, they work, and it's around 30 or 40, between the 30 and 40, they realize something is wrong. So, do you think it's because, because you're from maybe India, we say it's like a more spiritual country, or because you have more a, a spiritual culture with the parents, or where, how, how come you had this enlightenment, like super, super young? It's it's hard to explain but you know as, as I said like my, my parents like really conditioned me to be like I was a super student in school you know if mm. I would have continued that track I would be like CEO of whatever mm. multinational corporation <laughs> wow. you know like I was I yeah. was really very dedicated and then there were certain life experiences and also also questioning there were certain places that inspired me and it, it was a quest mm. for me to to find out who I was. As mm. I said, like when I was very young, I was identified as being Singaporean. As an adolescent, I was identified as being an Austrian, wanting to be like mm. part of society. Mm. 
and then through some experiences like a society or culture which I was actually neglecting and pushing aside and mm. my, my parents as well weren't like really deeply mm. honoring like, mm. like uh, the Indian heritage but through certain experiences I like felt the depth of that culture mm. when I was like 17, 18 and I really wanted I felt like the richness of that culture and wanted, wanted to go in there and then you know like as I said usually after high school male citizens do like the military mm. or the social service mm. and then they study at university mm. they just study something you know if there is nothing what the heart really calls for mm. if, if it is business or if it is medicine and I didn't just want to do something at that time I felt like honestly I felt I want to go to India and find my guru there. Yeah, that was yeah. like through. It was like a, a call from your soul, right? Something yeah. that was really calling you. And and I met like this guy, a Portuguese guy who had spent a lot of time in India, and he shared with me about reincarnation. He shared with me about the Indian gods and goddesses, which ignited something in me, which which started like my phew, wanting wanting to search wow. and and dig deeper. And wow. it met a lot of resistance from my from my family yeah, yeah you know yeah. and and i think that's a crucial part as well because it's hard to 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 like give up on the family and really start following following your dream or following your heart because you don't want to hurt your parents you don't want to hurt the family but you have to you know so how you deal with this that that is like the crucial part i think you know because i feel a lot of people and i noticed later in my life as well you know they were like certain callings that I had mm. from from my heart and I like pushed them aside because I felt right yes, away oh I don't yes. want to go through the resistance of society of yes, family yes. but honestly I have to say that's that's a crucial part we we got to go through that it doesn't mean that it's it's like an easy path always but through the journey you know like it's not only me that has evolved but mm. also also my parents have evolved mm. Like after I started reconnecting, pushing through like resistance, we had like quite a few years of struggles, especially mm. with my dad. Mm. But now my dad, he's he's watching spiritual YouTube videos. Wow. He really honors. Maybe he's gonna watch you. He's gonna <laughs> yeah. watch. Yeah, sure. Awesome. And and he reconnected with his heritage. He reconnected wow. with spirituality. So what you're saying is, it's not about you. It was. Since, since the moment you took this decision to change yourself, it was like a huge impact around you, so it changed as well your family and everyone. So yes. it's like the more you allow yourself to be who you are and to just follow, follow in your heart, the more you, you have this impact around you, right? Yes, wow. and especially when you talk about, about family, you know, like mm. we are living, if we don't follow our heart, we are living the conditioning of the generations that have come before us. Mm. So we are living this, the heritage of the burdens and the challenges mm. of our ancestors. But when we connect to following our heart, you break the pattern. We, we break the pattern and it's wow. not only like challenges, you yeah, know, yeah. that our ancestors have passed on to us, but it's also blessings and a lot wow. of fortune. Wow. So instead of living the struggles, yeah. we can transform the struggles, let the struggles yes, yeah, go yeah, and we yeah. can live the blessings and that wow. ripples out you know in Buddhist tradition in a lot of like the indigenous traditions they say when you heal yourself fully you you actually heal the seven generations of the past wow. and bring healing into the seven generations into the future Wow! so right now what is happening on individual levels but also as a collective on this planet right collective now, consciousness in the collective planet, yeah? consciousness wow, wow is because right now the, the planet is on an edge if we don't like sort things out you know the future generations are not going to have a rosy time here they're going to have a challenging time here so more and more people are connecting to wow. this inner process of healing of awakening wow. of following yeah, the heart true. to live in harmony and in balance with with mother earth with all of creation yeah. because we want to pass on something to the future generations so that they may live in abundance in wow. true abundance yeah wow that's amazing wow <laughs> thank you for sharing it oh my with pleasure us. Really thank awesome. you for yeah, yeah you know like it's like the projector generator dynamic yeah <laughs> ben my brother he he invited me and so when when i feel as a projector the invitation 
I'm ready you and respond, I share, yeah. I respond. Oh, yeah. Awesome, awesome. So I'm, thank you, yeah. I'm grateful so, to so, be able to share. Yeah, thank you. So can you share about what you're doing today? What is your work today? So I know you work with kind of a massage, energetic massage, sound healing as well, different things. So can you explain more about, about the people exactly what's your, if I can say, job or like yeah. work today? Awesome. So I work in supporting and guiding people to, to connect, you know, because as I shared, lots of, lots of people have lost touch with, mm. with the heart. What does the heart really call for? What is their, the blueprint of their soul? Mm. So I studied many different things. I studied physiotherapy in Austria, I studied craniosacral work, sound healing. Theta healing, which is working with belief patterns, belief structures. Okay. So, right now I work with individuals and also with groups of people. Because I think you you doing retreat, right? Or you just follow some retreat and you 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 are like intervenant in the retreat. Or yes. You have your own retreat. Like I've been co-creating with my partner co yeah. retreats, and then I support other people that do like deep transformational work in their retreats by giving like individual sessions in the retreats. Awesome. So you can be like a, like a value we add to a retreat. So let's oh, say totally. uh, people watch us and they have a retreat, they already have a retreat and they are interested about your work, you can just jump into the retreat with them and provide your, your work. Oh right? yes. Oh, wow, that's amazing. That's, that's what's happening right now here in, in, the, the, sacred, group, yeah. in the Sacred Valley. So I'm, I'm sharing my work at two yoga teacher trainings right now because mm. people go through like deep inner transformation and what I, what I do, you know, The craniosacral work is working with the, with the connective tissue in the body, which holds okay. energetic and emotional information, okay. which is where in Chinese medicine the, the meridians run. In yogic tradition, you would say in the connective tissues where the nadis, the energy channels run. Mm. So it's about balancing the rhythm of life force within these structures. Okay. That's the craniosacral work. The sound healing is, you know, From a certain perspective, everything in the universe is sound, sound. vibration, true. and frequency. Yes, it's true. You know, also we see this as like dense matter. You know, if you look at, at a microscopic, from a microscopic perspective, it is, it is electrons, neutrons, protons. Mm -hmm. It is, it is all vibration. Vibration, yeah, yeah, yeah. So through my partner Sophia, okay, yeah, uh, who is is a beautiful channel of. Of divine sound of the of the mother earth like I got into working with sound vibration and frequency so if you know how to work with sound vibration and frequency and applying it in the right way with the right intention you can harmonize you can balance you can open up blockages wow. which has of course physical effects but also mental emotional and energetic effects and wow. sometimes you know what happens is that people go into a detox you know because it opens channels that have stored information yeah. when these channels get opened it might be an emotional it might be sometimes a physical detox but it is like a release of of old patterns wow. so that we can really connect to what we have come here to be to fully embody them mm, that's amazing wow so so the, the benefit if i understand correctly what you shared the benefit is like You have a full session about balancing the energy in the body. You have different techniques as a sound healing or like the, the physiotherapy, touching yeah. the body, like massage, yeah? And so you balance the energy everywhere and it helps to release all, if I can say, the negative emotion or the negative patterns of things like yes. doesn't serve you anymore, right? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. So how long, how long is the session? Usually it's around 90 minutes. 90 minutes. 90 minute session. And one part is, you know, the hands on work, mm -hmm. which is, it is not really massage. It is, it is hands on, but it is working with a very subtle and gentle rhythm mm -hmm. within the body. Okay. Um, it can also be done, done online. So I also do Skype sessions okay. because people not always can be like with me physically. Okay. So there is this modality which is called Theta Healing, which is working with the brain waves okay. and tapping into fields of belief patterns and belief structures. Okay. 
Wow. So also using that modality with sound transmissions has has the same effect. Wow. And the crucial thing is for people to have like an intention with everything, you know, with with every session that I offer with with different workshops when you go in there it's like it's good to know where you want to go where you want to if go, you don't yeah. know where you want to go okay you can have a Ferrari but you might end up in the wrong yeah, place you true, know true. so it is important okay what do I want and so we have like a conversation mm. what is present in one's journey mm. where do you want to go and so and essentially the way that I work with the craniosacral work the theta healing and the sound it's not me. You channel. It, I connect to the source of mm. consciousness and the source of consciousness does the work. work. for you, yeah. yes. Wow, exactly. that's, that's awesome. Wow, amazing. Well, thank you so much for sharing everything. Oh, so my how, pleasure. How do people can contact you if you have a website? or like yes. a, Do you have some retreat coming soon? Or what's your next step for you? What's the next plan for you? Are you gonna stay in Peru if people want to contact you or find you or you're gonna start traveling um, I'll be traveling soon so I'm here in Peru just for another another week or so then I'll be in Austria where I was raised okay. spend some time with my family there for three weeks we'll be offering some workshops and giving sessions there and then I'll be heading to the beloved island of Bali, Bali okay. which which has been my home base yeah. and it's gonna be my home base in the future again life's okay. adventures pulled me out of Bali but now I feel I'm gonna ground there mm. and so if people want to find you it will be more in Bali it will be more in Bali or you can find me online of online. course check out www.shamiracle.com and contact me through the web page as well. Cool. I will put a, a link. Guys, I will put a, a link and a short description bio of a Shamiracle in, in the description. So you will have all the contact and information so yes. people can, can find you. And then me and my partner, Ama Sophia, we have some trainings coming up as well. Awesome. In, probably in California, wow. in September then in Brazil in October so it's it's transformational journeys with lots of sound healing like our voice is mm. our channel to birth mm. is one of the channels to birth creation into reality so you have like O which is the the primordial sound of the universe right so sound that has just been my my exploration my discovery the last yeah, yeah, the last yeah. years you know that sound is, is super magic you know every word that it we is, say every, everything sets so much vibration and frequency into creation and we can we can create and so these journeys are going to be a lot about sound about activating one's own resonance in harmony yeah. and how to how to work with sound but it's also going to be like a deep inner journey of of letting go layers shedding mm. layers of what mm. is holding us back to fully like embody our life's purpose and life's path and then probably on the Hawaiian islands and then beginning of next year back to Bali again. Wow, amazing. That's really an amazing program, guys. So be sure to check his website. Uh, I will put all the details we need, all the information you need to, to follow Shannon Workle doing this amazing trip around the world and healing process, sharing all his knowledge. Uh, final words? Anything final words. you want to share? Um, shamiracle.com and also check out sonicloveralchemy.com there is something that we have come up with which is a company of of crystal singing bowls Ooh. which is like very very high vibration high frequency sound healing modality or sound healing technique it is like the the new ancient technologies of, of healing and of activating consciousness. It's like working with crystals. Our, our body, our bones are crystalline structures. So working with crystal, crystalline sound really activates us. We have like the physical yeah. vessels of our body yeah. which carry us, but they radiate in resonance connected to our emotional, our mental, our energetic bodies. So that's that's a new technology, and there is something very precious that we are we are sh starting to share now, and it's going to expand. So check that out as well, sonicloughalchemy.com. Awesome. And 
What else I want to share, Ben? Thank you so much for oh, my inviting pleasure. me, for my pleasure. allowing me to share, yeah. allowing me to share with you people in this beautiful place in Peru. It's, it's, it's been amazing, a, isn't it? It's been a pleasure and like my advice, tune into what, what makes you happy, what, what makes you what makes you light up? What are you passionate about in life? And and follow that. Yeah. And follow that. Sometimes it is like it might feel difficult. How how can I do that? You know, like yeah. people ask yeah, themselves, yeah. Oh, I I need to pay rent, I need to do this, I need to do that. But our lives are supposed to be abundant on all levels. And it's yeah. on us to give ourselves permission. So people like Ben, people like me, and there are many more which are here to support this process. So we follow awesome. that, we join forces together, and we create the reality that all of us want to live in together. Yeah, amazing. Well, thank you very much. It was, I have no words. Thank you so much. It was oh. really a pleasure to have you today. Guys, uh, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel to have a look on the next interview. And uh, make sure you have a check, you check on the, on the website of Sean Shan Worker and all his work. And uh, thank you very much for being here today. And uh, please give a thumbs to the videos, let the comment below or share the, the videos. And I'm uh, really looking forward to see you. It was Benjamin and Shaman Worker for the Country Spirit Media.